Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ryan and I am one of the maintainers of Pyroscope, which is an open source continuous profiling library that you can use to debug performance issues in your code. And the projects that me and my teammates, a bunch of other contributors to uh, Pyroscope worked on for this hackathon is a Pyroscope bot. And basically this came about because um, I use Slack a ton in my day-to-day -day work. We actually manage our open source community through Slack. And it's also kind of the hub where we send all of our observability data and all of our metrics and get all of our alerts around GitHub issues and that kind of stuff. And it's nice when you can do everything in one place, but because of the way that we were using Pyroscope, we found that it was really inefficient. And so here's an example where uh, this is actually something that happened to us. You know, you get an alert that CPU utilization of a server is spiking, it's getting nearing 100. And the way that we were using Pyroscope before is we would basically go and look at the profiling data for that, um, for that server. And it would have to be a screenshot that someone would have to annotate. They would have to uh, ask a lot of clarifying questions because you just can't interact with a screenshot the same way that you can interact with Pyroscope in the Pyroscope UI. And so we actually, what we actually decided to do was for this hackathon, we created a bot that allows you to basically when you get this error message that something's going on with the Hot Rod Ruby route, you can now go in here and you can select Hot Rod Ruby route. You can select the time range where you wanna see the profile for. And because it's being continuously profiled, you can select really any time range that you want. And uh, what we built was actually, we bought flamegraph.com. We built a uh, kind of like a paste bin like, like site for sharing flame graphs. And so now it's going to send you an interactive version of that flame graph where you can now click in and here, and you can use the features that are part of the Pyroscope UI in order to really kind of dig deeper into what the issue was as opposed to pasting screenshots. And so in this case, the error was actually that um, there, was, there was an issue with the sorting algorithm that we were using um, when we were running out of CPU. And so one of the other functionalities we built into Pyroscope Bot is the ability to basically paste in a file. It's gonna ask you if you'd like to profile the code in that file. And so now as we're starting to explore the other kinds of sorting algorithms that we might use, we can even see the profiles for those and similarly get a shareable flame graph that's going to show uh, what the profile for that code would actually look like. And so that's what we built for this. There's a lot of stuff we want to add in the future. Um, and basically, we want to make it so that there's a much better UI, UX experience using some of the things that Slack offers, like using modals and things like that. There's also some functionality in Pyroscope that we could easily build into this. So for example, one of the things is being able to show the diff between two flame graphs. Um, and then another thing that would even be cool is if you, if you comment over here on the side, we would love for that to also show up in sort of a comment bar over here as well using the Slack API. And so there's a lot that we want to do here, but basically um, for now, this is kind of the MVP and we are excited to keep building on this in the future. Um, thanks for taking the time and have a good one.